Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request from a test taker. The best uh, free supplement to your paid study materials is this, my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. With my Guru 15 discount code at checkout, you can get a Kaplan QBank for $55.80. We'll help you on any questions. Uh, from any vendor, just easier if it's Kaplan. This is QID 146-8192. Uh, what is the break-even point on the following position? Uh, buy one QRS January 40 call at 2.35. That's dollars out. And write one QRS January 45 call at 0.85. So you should have been able to recognize this as a spread. A spread spread means difference, right? So whether it's a, talking about a yield spread or a, the spread between what the issuer receives and the public pay, uh, public offering price, spread always means difference. And so what we're spreading here is the difference in the premium. So this is a spread. Once we've identified the spread, uh, this is a call spread. We want to determine debit or credit. And the way we do that is we net the premiums. So uh, I always say fire up the T. Some people like to use debits. Some people like to use minus signs. I like to use dollars out versus dollars in. Again, I'm showing you dollars in here. And when we uh, net the dollars in, you can use credit or plus. That is a net debit of one and a half. Net debit of one and a half. So uh, boom, call out of the lower is a memory aid about how we get break evens in call spreads. So call out of the lower, call up. We're going to take the lower strike, 40. We're going to add the net premium of one and a half. Doesn't matter whether that's a debit or credit. Doesn't matter if it's a call spread, whatever that net is, that's what we add. Now, test taking trick, we get the break even here at 41 and a half, but we should know that the break even is somewhere between 40 and 45, because that's the whole point of a spread is I want to play between the floor, in this case, 40 and the ceiling, 45. And so it's got to be a number somewhere there. That gives you a 50-50 on break-even. You can eliminate any choices offered to you that aren't somewhere between 40 and 45. Now I'm just going to illustrate to you that it is indeed the break-even, as well as show you an alternative if you don't want to memorize. So one thing you can do is say, okay, what is my dominant leg? My dominant leg, not testable, that's called a leg, is my choice to buy at 40. That's what's driving this transaction is my choice to buy at 40, right? And so if I buy the stock at 40, ultimately, break-even is the number that would make the columns balance because break-even is same dollars out as dollars in. And so, boom, now I'm just illustrating that indeed, if I buy the stock at 40 and I still have 41 and a half, I break even. So what I'm saying is you could actually... Uh, plug in the dominant leg into your T, assuming you're using the T. Lots of different methods do options. It's a buffet. Take what you like, leave what you don't. But if you can track money with a T and you can get good at contract specific specifications, you'll get 100. So here I'm just illustrating that indeed 41 and a half, I'd go through process of elimination on the ones they're offering me until I came with up with one that made the columns balance. So uh, we've identified this as a credit call spread. Uh, the maximum loss is one and a half. Uh, I'm bullish. I've lowered the amount of upward volatility I need from 2.35 to 85 cents. I suggest you do things on a per share basis, a break even as expressed as a per, per share basis, basis. So I wouldn't put $235 in here and $85. I'd do it per share. And then my max gain is when I buy the stock at 40 and sell at 45, I'd make five, but I spent a point and a half. So my max gain is three and a half and I am bullish. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, spreads are a cinch. Yard by yard, spreads are hard. I will link in the video description and a pinned comment to a uh, video with a longer explanation of spreads and what you're required to be able to do as a test taker. Okay, see you next explication. Bye-bye.